Dear Nelson Mandela, after four decades of injustice and humiliation under al-Assad regime and more than five months of struggle for freedom in Syria, with more than 2,200 Syrian citizens being killed and more than 25,000 citizens being arrested in jail by al-Assad regime, we are sending you this recording as one of the most influencing leaders in the world to urge South Africa to work with other members of the UN Security Council to issue a firm and legally binding resolution which would help stop the brutal crackdown against predominantly peaceful protests in Syria. The Syrian people have always believed that you, Nelson Mandela, were always an icon for freedom. The Syrian people have always believed that you were a great man who fought for the rights of your people in South Africa. You believe that everyone should have the same right to live with dignity and freedom and stood up for what you believed in with more than 25 years in jail and you never gave up until the end. Your struggle for freedom has inspired us, the Syrian people, to strive for our freedom. However, the Syrian president and government were against our predominantly peaceful protests in Syria when we asked for our freedom. The UN Security Council's presidential statement was an inadequate response to the crimes being committed in Syria by government forces, which according to the Amnesty International's assessment amounts to crimes against humanity as they appear to be part of a widespread and systematic attack against the Syrian civilian population. The UN Security Council should pass a resolution that would impose an arms embargo, freeze the assets of President Bashar al-Assad and other officials suspected of responsibility for crimes against humanity and refer the situation to the prosecutor of the International Criminal Court. As a member state of the UN Security Council and a key player in the international arena, South Africa has the opportunity and responsibility to change this. We, the Syrian people, appeal to you and to your government to show leadership and to use your international influence to help stop the bloodshed in our country and ensure accountability for abuses committed by Bashar al-Assad regime in Syria. Yours sincerely, the Free Syrian People. <laughs>